Well, I don't think it's a valid uh, move at all because the truth of the matter, there were probably equivalent number of uh, Jews who came from Arab land and eventually you know, went to Israel to the number of Palestinians that left Palestine and became refugees and remain refugees to this very day. But that should not suggest that there was a, some kind of exchange of population. Israel absorbed the Jews from Arab land almost immediately and there is a single camp left of refugees going back five decades now. And so to suggest there was some kind of exchange is invalid. Having said that, the so-called right of return it cannot be exercised under any circumstances. The Arab states know that, the Palestinians know that, and I must tell you, in every negotiation between Israel and the Palestinians, it was a given that the Palestinian right of return is non-starter. The Palestinians basically insisted on the principle of the right of return and have agreed in 2000 and 2008 and 9 that only a token number, 20, 25,000, to go back under family re reunification to Israel uh, over a number of years. And the reason is this uh, is the right of return cannot be exercised because, simply put, if all the Palestinians or the majority of them uh, elect to go back, uh, Israel will become, the Jews in Israel will become a minority instantly. And that is not going to be accepted, not by just Netanyahu government, even the most liberal government in Israel will not accept that because the Jews, that is the Israelis, have established state as the last refuge, so to speak, and they want to sustain and maintain Jewish majority to maintain the identity of the state as such. I regret to say that the policies of Netanyahu today, this government, is driving Israel toward losing its Jewish majority by the expansion of the settlement. Israelis are getting sick and tired of uh, the situation in Israel. A thousand million, actually one million immigrated from Israel. Uh, so the question of sustainable Jewish majority, which is central to the national identity of the state of Israel, become a serious problem. And hence, the time has come for Israel to begin to settle this conflict with the Palestinians if it wants to maintain the national identity of the state. And part of that is, of course, resolving the issue of the Palestinian refugees. And might, I just want to add one quick note, is that is, the Palestinian refugees can go back to their homeland because no one can say that the West Bank or the Gaza Strip are not part of Palestine. They can go back to their homeland, but they do not necessarily go back to the same houses they have occupied, which are now in Israel.